Good morning boys. Now I am going to show you something today that I know a lot of you are probably going to think that I've shown you already and I have. When we did our Keith Haring artworks I showed you an easier technique to use in Adobe Illustrator and some of you may have already used this technique but the reason I showed you how to use the shapes and to build up using um, ellipses for example uh, was because later on and you'll, I'll show you in this video it becomes a lot easier to know how to do both techniques okay so today we're going to use uh, another technique that I have shown you a few weeks ago in class and that is using the pen tool okay so I'm using the apple but you're going to do this on your new chosen fruit so the fruit that you are choosing that no one else in your class is doing okay and that's going to become your individual page of the calendar so using the pen tool we're basically going to click on what I'm going to call corners, but they're not corners, they're just the most widest and highest parts of each curve. So starting in the center, click once, and then take your finger off the trackpad, click again, take your finger off, click again, and we're going to work our way around the apple shape, finding all the pockets and all the shallow and deep parts. Okay, and as you're going back around, if your fruit is symmetrical, then you want to try and line up the symmetrical parts of your fruit and then finish back at that spot. And you can see I've got this brown angular blob uh, instead of an apple. So now we need to smooth out those corners. Now, the thing with this, this tool, and we're going to use the direct selection tool, which is A on your hotkey keyboard. Uh, this one's already selected, so we're going to shift select all of the anchors except for the last one. And for reasons that I cannot work out, if you select all of them, and I'll show you, the button we need disappears. But if I deselect one of them, then the button we need, which is the curve uh, anchor point tool, comes back. So to select multiple is shift select, okay, or shift click. And then to deselect, you literally just need to shift click on one that you didn't want to click. So we've got all but this one here selected. If I click on the convert anchor point to smooth, they all go smooth, okay, which is perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the fill and I'm gonna get rid of the fill for now, just like that. And I'm going to click on stroke, which is this one here. And I'm gonna make my stroke a really bright color. So click on color, go back to the stroke, double click on stroke, choose a really bright color like bright green, and then you can see your outline quite easily. So we want to now try and match our outline to the fruit, and I'm just gonna select one anchor using the white arrow direct selection tool, okay? And I'm gonna grab the handle, which is this little um, antenna, and I'm gonna grab the little bauble on the end, and I'm gonna pull it out until it matches just like that. And I'll go around the fruit and I'll choose an anchor point at a time, moving them if I need to, okay, and then matching the sh outlines as I go around, okay. So it's pretty easy actually, it's a bit of fun, it takes a little bit of fidgeting, and if you make a mistake, sometimes you get these really wonky twisted shapes, but persevere, okay, and you can always command Z to undo any mistakes that you may have made. Okay, now this one in here is still a corner. You can see it's making a, a corner angle there. So I can change that to smooth and then play with that now, just like this. Drag this one out. It's made this really wonky, so I'll bring this one in. So I'll bring this one in a bit too. And I might drag this over here a bit. There we go, that's lined up now. And then I can bring this one back down and then we have a pretty good outline for our apple now. Okay, so that's much quicker, much easier than the last technique, but I'm gonna show you now why the last technique is really good. So if I select the black arrow, select the outline, forward slash, okay, to get rid of the stroke, and then click on fill, I for eyedropper, and click on that, then my apple is now red and I'm quite happy with that, okay? Now, before I move on, I'm just gonna show you how to do the leaf if you are following along, because you might have a leaf on your fruit as well. So I'm gonna click here, click here, click 
click at the point down here, click up here, and then finish off my shape, forward slash eyedrop, click. Now I want to make this one and this one round, but I'm gonna leave the two end ones um, pointy, okay? So shift select those two, deselect those ones if they're selected, make them curved, and you can see it's not a huge amount of manipulation to get the shape of the leaf. Okay, just a little bit here, and a little bit here, and there we go, that's pretty much spot on. All right, and then I've got this stalk, go back to the pen tool, start on the corner, click, 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 and finish the shape, forward slash eye drop, click, Okay, now back to the direct selection tool. I'm gonna to grab these two anchors, convert them to smooth, and that's pretty good, but I can make it a little bit rounder. That's actually pretty good, I'm happy with that. Okay, so I've got my red apple done. Okay, now I'm gonna grab these two, not the leaf, and I'm gonna command copy, command V, and then I'm going to drag this over to here, and this is going to become my green apple. Now, the biggest difference between the green apple, aside from the color, is the bite marks. Move the stalk into place there as well. So what I'll do is, again, I'll forward slash, and then give myself a stroke. This time I'm going to make the stroke red, so I can see it. Okay, and now you can see that I have these chomp marks. So basically, they're just circles that have been removed from the shape. So if I make a circle like this, okay, and I drag it into position, you can see that pretty much fits that bite mark perfectly. Command copy, command V, so command C, command V, and then I pop that one there, command C, command V, and I pop this one here. I've pretty much made my chomp marks exactly how I want them. Now, if I use a marquee, with the black arrow around all of those shapes. And then I simply come over here to the Shape Builder tool, which is the cloud and the little arrow. Click on that, select, oops, I didn't mean to go into the fruit. If you make that mistake, Command Z, select all of the new shapes that you've made, and that will convert them into a new shape. Looks a bit like a Mickey Mouse with droopy ears. Deselect all the other shapes by clicking on the open space. Select the Mickey Mouse shape and delete it. And you can see now I have the perfect bite mark. Okay, so I for eyedropper, click on the green, and there you go. Okay, so there's really nothing that you can't build using those two shape builder tools, okay? Uh, the techniques that I've shown you will make it much easier for you to create whatever fruit you need. Okay, the main thing is you keep it simple. The more simple you make your fruit, okay, so this is three colors and three shapes, the more identifiable it will actually be. If you start adding all this detail and all this crazy texture, it can ac actually detract from the uh, plainness or the ide easy, easy identification of that fruit when someone else looks at it. Okay, so keep it simple, the KISS principle, and if you have any questions, hop onto Zoom, I'll be there from one o'clock uh, until probably three o'clock. And if you have any questions outside of that time, please shoot me an email. I'll try and respond by email or shoot you a video um, or pop it up onto style. Okay, good luck, have fun. Please don't spend too much time on it. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask.